artists uh, and friends and potentially pets that might be joining in to watch these videos and anyone else that's popping in, I'm glad you're here. I wanted to just put out a little information about what to expect, uh, what are art dates, uh, who's Miss Kate, and um, what materials you might be needing over the next few weeks, um, time that we spend together and potentially inevitable future. Um, so to begin, I am Miss Kate. I've been teaching art for quite a long time, primarily to kindergarten through fifth grade, but I've had up to eighth grade and mommy and me. So I've been around the block. Um, when I'm not teaching, I'm creating my own art and hopefully in the future I can post a few videos of me doing that, maybe a time lapse or something. Um, and yeah, that's me. I have a cat and he might make an appearance now and then. I know, I know he enjoys to be in front of the camera, so I'll do my best to pull him out every once in a while. Um, and so what are art dates? Well, they're a time that we're going to get together and we're just going to create. We're gonna have fun. We're gonna learn about some new artists. We will learn about some art styles. We'll talk about some different art words. Um, and we're gonna travel. We're actually gonna do some passport to art and travel around the world and look at art from other countries as well. So there's a lot of cool stuff that we'll be doing. Um, and I hope that while we're on this journey together, um, give me feedback, input. What do you wanna do? What is things that you like? What are projects that you don't like. I take that too. Um, because I know what I like, but I don't know what you guys like. So it would be really helpful to keep me posted on how you're doing. And with that, share everything you do. Have mom or dad, or if you are old enough to get online, to post your artwork. And I'd be happy to re-share uh, it with everybody else, um, just to keep art going. Uh, so what are you gonna need? Well, the basic would be a pencil and paper. Uh, I know we're all home, so materials might be a little hard to come by. So crayons are great. If you have markers, those are super good. Uh, watercolor paints are a favorite of mine. We'll probably use those a few times. Um, what else? How about a pair of scissors? Glue, you can use the Elmer's wet glue or you can use uh, glue sticks. I like both. Um, we might be using some old cardboard boxes. So if you have any snacks or cereal boxes um, that you guys are eating all the food out of, save those. Also, uh, paper towel tubes, toilet paper tubes, any little weird odd and ends that you think, hey, we could do an art project with that. Miss Kate will probably be able to do an art project with that. So hang on to stuff. Um, I hope I'm not forgetting anything, but if I do, I will definitely tell you. Um, and lastly, I am going to try every Friday to post a video of what the upcoming week theme is going to be. And with that, I will give you the information as to what materials we'll probably be needing so you can gather them before the week starts and have them ready. Um, yeah, so that's about it. And I hope you're doing well. Uh, leave any comments below, information you want to share. Um, I'm hoping maybe we can do some birthday celebrations on here because I love a party. Um, and yeah, that's about it. So I am going to bid you adieu. Or wait, maybe not. Do you guys want to do an art project now? Let's do it. So go ahead and get a piece of paper, plain white copy paper from your computer and a pencil. And that's all. And I'll, after we're done, you can go color and stuff. But for now, get those two things and meet me back uh, in two snaps of a finger click. Bye. All right, so here we are. Um, I'm at my workspace and um, I've got my paper right here. Um, before we get started, I cannot see you guys and you can't see me, but I am on the other side of this screen here. Um, and I'm hoping that in a few weeks, I might be able to do a live stream so that way I can see you, uh, you can see me, I can answer your questions at the same time, um, working out the kinks on that one. But for now, let's get started. So paper is here. This is just, a, like I said, a plain piece of white copy paper. We're gonna have it going in the portrait position, meaning it's long on these sides. 
Um, not this way. This way would be a landscape and we're not working in that direction. So we're gonna go with a portrait. Um, I'm gonna be using my black marker so you can see better. I'd recommend using a pencil just in case you get a little anxious this first go around. Um, you can erase easier. Once you put marker down, it's good to stay. So what we're actually gonna do is take our paper and we're gonna take the bottom and we're gonna fold it up to meet the top. And we're gonna put a crease, a nice good crease. So I'll do that again, just in case you missed it the first time. So you're gonna take the bottom and fold it up to meet the top. So the two top sides are saying, hey, what's up buddy, haven't seen you, long time. Okay, and then now you've got the two flaps up at the top, you see that? You're gonna take the top flap, you're gonna fold it towards the bottom, which it hasn't hung out down there for a bit, and we're gonna crease that, okay? Take a look what we did. I'll start one more time from the very beginning. You're gonna take the bottom of your paper, fold it up to meet the very top, crease it really well. Then you're gonna take the top flap and fold it down to the bottom, okay? And if you need help, go ahead, you can pause the video and ask mom, dad, brother, sister. Um, you could just try to get on your own and then you can join us right back by pushing play again. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our pencil or marker and we're gonna start drawing. And we're gonna all draw the same thing on this one uh, together. And then when I'm done and you guys are off and coloring, you might wanna try this again and create a new uh, design on your own. That's up to you. So first thing first is let's do a half circle. We're gonna draw a fish. Can you do that on the top? So it's above that little fold. You're not gonna draw below it. You're drawing above that fold that we made when we folded our paper down. So when I lift that up, it looks kind of funny, right? And now we're gonna draw the bottom half of the fish below the fold. So its belly is on the folded piece. After you do that, you're gonna do a triangle. You're gonna do a diagonal line, then a straight line, and the straight line is gonna actually cross over the fold you made. And you're gonna do another diagonal because triangles, most of my kindergartners know this, are diagonal, diagonal, straight. They have three sides. So we're gonna do a diagonal. We're gonna draw a straight line down on top of that fold. We're gonna go right over and then another diagonal. Now let's add some fun stuff. How about a top fin? And yours doesn't have to look just like mine. Um, this is just to kind of give you an idea. And I'm gonna do one of these like fun little, little fins and then like another one behind it. All right, how you doing so far? Good? Okay, so now we're gonna put in an eye. I'm gonna do a nice big one. And I'll turn it, color in the, the little pupil area. Are we good to go? All right, so now is the little bit of the trick part. You're gonna take your pencil and above this fold, not below it, you're gonna draw a straight line to about the eye. So it's not on this page, it's on this page. Do we see that? And then let's do one more quick little thing before we keep going. We're gonna do some wiggly lines from the top to the bottom. But wait, Miss Kate, I don't like wiggly lines. Well, guess what? You could do a zigzag. Ugh, zigzags, what are you talking about? Well, you could just do a straight line. Hmm, well, maybe I'll give a wiggly line a chance. So you can put any kind of lines, but they go from the very top of the fish down to the bottom right across that fold we had. All right, now the fun part. We're gonna take our paper, we're gonna open it all the way, and it looks really funny, right? It's missing the whole middle. Well, this is where we're gonna have some fun. Let's start with the mouth. 
we're gonna go from the edge of the line that we had drawn, and we're gonna go straight down and make a J, but it's got a really long body. So you're, it's kind of like a hook, a fishing hook. So you're gonna go all the way down from the top, curve, and then go back up for just a little bit. Look at we just created a fish mouth. And now let's connect our wavy line from the top to the bottom. And then I'm gonna connect my zigzag. Uh, 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 uh. Done. Connect my straight line. Oops, I almost missed it. That's okay. And let's get one more wavy all the way connected. And we'll do the very back and we'll do our fishtail. Connect it all the way down. Okay, and if you're running a little bit behind, pause the video, that's totally fine, and then push play when you're ready to come back. So what you can see is if we close our fish, he looks like a happy little camper. When we open our fish, he's ready to munch down on some grub. So what should we put in there? How about we will put some big old fish teeth? Oh yeah, this is not a happy camper. And we'll put some big fish teeth down here. And maybe he's about to eat, but he's really, really silly. And he screams, so we're gonna put his tongue. We're gonna put some little lines that make it look like it's moving. And this looks kind of boring back here to me. So I'm gonna put some designs in my tail. I'm gonna actually draw a straight line so it separates the body from the tail. And I'm gonna put some diagonal lines. Diagonal lines are straight lines. They just look like they're gonna fall over. All right, ooh, I'm liking this. So, all right, so it's me again. Um, I am in color too, isn't that fun? Uh, I'm gonna show you the rest of my fish now, um, as well as two other examples I did in that meantime that we just kind of snippeted away. Uh, so here's my fish. I added some um, seagrass into the back make sure if you add anything that you connect it because remember that middle area is going to like be all white like it was with our fish when we did it originally so here's this one um i went ahead and did a little alien creature uh put some like ground so he's on some kind of weird planet um and when you open it it's singing and i don't know what it's singing but it's having a heyday singing up there so you can take a peek at that and maybe get some ideas of your own and my third one that I did was this fancy ladybug. We'll put some butterflies. Again, I put it on the ground so it doesn't look like it's just floating randomly. And it has extendo legs and some really nasty sharp teeth. Um, and that's about it. So I'm gonna spend the rest of the afternoon coloring mine, um, maybe putting together next week's videos, projects, um, some handouts and stuff for parents as well. Um, as well as links to a few books uh, that may be helpful in YouTube music type of stuff. I have had a blast joining you guys and I hope you have too. Uh, I look forward to seeing you tomorrow with the uh, topic of the week or the theme for next week as well as what supplies you'll need and yeah that's about all. So peace out, have a great day and I will catch you on the flip side.